Hello, geometry students. Welcome to Unit 9. Um, we are closing in on the end of geometry. This is the last pretty good size unit. Unit 10 is significantly smaller. Um, and this is probably the last, I would say, somewhat difficult um, unit. There's a lot of details you have to remember, a lot of details you have to master um, in Unit 9. But it, like anything, you become good at it by practicing. So let's, let's take a look and, and start with what we're talking about, and that's 3D drawings. 3D drawings are exactly what they talk about. They're trying to show something with depth. And maybe you've talked about that in an art class somewhere along the way. So we start here. This would be a three-dimensional drawing. This would be called a cube or sometimes called a cuboid. Um, and, and we're focused on this part of a net. Now, a net is just a three-dimensional drawing if it were unfolded and laid out flat. So if you can kind of consider, if you're going to take this shape and just kind of pull it apart, what would that look like? Okay, so if you consider there's one, two, three, uh, four, and then, let's see, five and six, and six, then when I have lay it out flat, there's going to be six sides. So when I unfold it out flat, it ends up looking like this. So this kind of ends up being one, two, three, four, five, and six. This ends up being what the net looks like. Okay, something like a large uh, T almost. That's kind of what it looks like when you talk about a net, just unfolding it really. So for here, for the net, this is, this is called a pyramid. So you've got one, two, three, four triangles in this bottom rectangle. Okay, so you, you start by drawing your rectangle. Then off each side, you have a triangle. Okay, that ends up being, so this kind of becomes one, two, three, four, and five. And you don't need to number them. I just do it to kind of keep my sides correct. So there's what the net's gonna look like there. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what you're trying to do when they say, try to find the net or write or draw the net of this shape. This is what they're asking for, a flat figure that represents the shape. Okay, these are called isometric drawings. Okay, and it's supposed to help you kind of um, understand how to draw three-dimensional shapes. So isometric, not isometric. No, yeah, um, it's not isometric. My mistake, yes, it is isometric. Changed my mind. Sorry about that. Isometric drawings, and you can see they're, they're not regular graph paper. They're, they're a little bit different. They're staggered dots and, and they're supposed to be to kind of help use um kind of help you get an idea of how to draw three-dimensionally so i want to i want to copy each figure so here's what i'm going to focus on i'm going to focus on what's my very very front point and that's going to be that one there so i'm going to come over here there's my very very front point and i go one back to the left then i go one two three back to the right one two three now, from over here, I'm going up one. And back from my original point, I go up one. Now, from back here, from this point, I go up one, two. So I go up one, two. Now, I can kind of start to see how this is going to go. Okay, so I connect this dot. So then I go back one, back one, back one, back one. Then I go up one, up one. Then I go back and I kind of complete the shape. So everything kind of builds. I start at this lower point and then I kind of go dot to dot and I kind of start going in the different directions until I figure out where I'm going. So now similar idea over here on this one on the right. So I'm starting at this front point and I'll, I'll do it up here. Um, I'll do it right here. So now I go right one, and I go left three. One, two, three. 
So now I go up one from my starting point, up one from my new point, and from this back point, I go up two. So now you can start to see this square ends up being like this square right here. Okay, those two match up. So now from there, I can kind of build. So I go back one, back one, up one, up one, and then back two to kind of finish off my shape. And that gives you kind of an idea of trying to mimic what these drawings look like. Okay, but start with the front point, count how many you have to go, and then start counting, do I go up, do I go back, do I go left, do I go right, and by how many blocks do I go? So if I consider this, try to draw two different views of the capital T using the isometric dot paper. So this is one view. I want a second view here. Okay, so what I might try to do is I might try to rotate this a little bit. Okay, so what's that going to look like? Well, I'll have my starting point. I have to kind of imagine here a little bit. So this is going to be, my block is going to be two units tall. So two units tall. But I'm going to go one unit that way. Okay, so it kind of looks like this. So I'm going to go two units. I'm going to go one unit back, one unit up, and then one unit left. And that kind of represents the top of the T. So now the T is three, the top of the T is three units long. So I go one, two, three. Then I'm gonna come back. Oh, hold on, I biffed that. Let me fix that part. So I'm gonna come back. One, two, because this represents kind of this part. I'm gonna come back one more. Sorry, I had to make a couple corrections there. So, this part's going to now come out, back, and up. It's going to kind of look like that. And the depth of my T is going to be there. Okay, so all I did was I started considering, well, I need two in the front, two in the front. Okay, then I shaded it the other way. So then I kind of built my the top coming backwards and if this takes you a couple times absolutely it, it can definitely take you a couple times um so that's absolutely fine you might have to erase retry erase retry and that's fine that's all good um to kind of help you practice the next view i'm going to use is if i took this and i flipped it upside down okay so if i flip this upside down all of a sudden i have a block of three on the bottom But now, when I get to this point, I'm going up two. So if I just wanted to flip it up, so I would have three units across, and then two units up. If I wanted to go block by block, it would look like that. Okay, that would be from a different perspective. So, the different perspectives we consider are called orthographic drawings. <clears throat> so, they're just a sketch to show the front, the side, and the top. Okay, so now, this is, only, this is like only looking at it from one side. So, this front side means I'm only looking at it from this view. Okay, so I see these two. I see these two, and I see this one. That's why for the front, I see this, this, and this. From the side view, that means I'm looking at it from this perspective. So all I see is this side, this side, and this side, which is why I only see three. 
The top is exactly what it sounds like. I'm looking straight down, which is why I see one here, then one, two, and three there. So one, two, three, there. That's where I see that one. That's my three orthographic drawings, front, side, and top. So if I look, my front is like this, my side is like this, my top is like this. So the side and the top tells me that this thing is only gonna be one block deep. Okay, so if I can kind of consider, so from the side, I'm gonna see one block. I'm gonna see one side of one block. Then the top means it's gonna be three deep. The front tells me that it's gonna be three blocks deep. The front also tells me it's gonna be two blocks high. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna come up one, right there. That's gonna be my answer. That's gonna be my picture right there. And that's exactly what it ends up being. So now here, this, this is basically, you're just drawing steps at this point because it's only one block deep, okay? And you're considering it from the front. You're gonna see four blocks, three blocks, two blocks, and one. So if I start here, this is this corner right here. I'm going back one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four. That represents kind of this block right here. So then I just kind of go out and down, go out and down, go out and down. Just like a little set of stairs. And that's it. Go out, down, out, down, out, down, out, down. There's my answer. There's my answer. So now, if I flip flip it around, what would my graphic draw? What would my orthographic drawings look like? Well, if I consider this the front, side, and top. From the front, I see two, and I see four. So from the front, I see basically a block of six. From the side, I see what basically looks like a backwards letter L. So one, two, that would be my side view. And my top view, I'm gonna see this and this. So my top view is gonna be something like that. That would be my six orthographic drawings sketches of that shape. And that's it, that's all I'm looking at. For here, again, front, looks like a little step stool. Side, looks like just a block of six. And top, also just looks like a block of six. Okay, that's what you're playing around with, getting used to this, okay? There's no quizzes for this. So this, you're gonna have to check in the answer key and see if you know what you're doing or not, okay? Because you do need to be able to do this. It's just hard to ask you to sketch something in quizzes and have it work. So come talk to me with questions and I look forward to helping you.